General Christopher Gwabin Musa, the Chief of Defense Staff, has reassured that the wave of coup occurring in Nimbori, West African countries will not occur in Nigeria. Musa affirmed that the military remains steadfast and committed to safeguarding and upholding democracy in the country and will not tolerate any anti-democratic forces. He also expressed appreciation for President Bola Tinubu's unwavering support to the military, emphasizing their continued dedication to their duty. Musa made these remarks during his visit to the troops of 6th Division Nigeria Army and other military establishments in Port Harcourt, River State on Wednesday, November 1st. Accompanied by senior military officials, the CDS inaugurated several projects including the 47 Engineering Brigade Counter Improvised Explosive Device Squadron and the 29 Battalion Magazine. Additionally, he unveiled two streets named in his honor among other initiatives constructed to or constructed under the supervision of Commander C Division Major General Jama Abdul Salam. Musa who planted a tree at the Bore Camp headquarters of the division, asserted that the military will persist in safeguarding the nation's integrity and protecting its citizens. He said I am in Port Harcourt to visit the troops to see how they are doing, interact with them, and to commend them for job well done and to encourage them to continue to do more. He said, we know we have a number of challenges within the country and River State is not excluded. It is just a way to tell them that we are together and to hear directly from them. We want to thank the Commissioner or the Commander-in-Chief of Armed Forces the president of Nigeria, Bola Metinubu, for all the support he has given to the army forces and security forces and to assure him that we are dedicated and committed in doing our job. We are here to protect the integrity of Nigeria. I actually came around starting from Imo State. We went to Bayesa and now I am in River State to try to encourage the troops to continue to do more and remain professional. Musa said the coup happening in countries around Nigeria had caused some apprehension, but insisted that there was nothing to worry about. He said, I want Nigeria to be assured that the armed forces of Nigeria is here for them to protect them and to protect democracy and ensure that democracy thrives. They should have no fear. We have had a numerous of coup in the country around Nigeria. We have Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger. I know that a lot of apprehensions. I want to assure everyone that the armed forces of Nigeria is dedicated and committed to ensuring and, and securing and supporting and standing by democracy. We stand by democracy. You saw that ECOWAS was very decisive on the decision taken against the coup plotters and we want to assure Nigerians that nothing like coup is going to take place in Nigeria. All members of the armed forces are pleased with democracy and we will continue to defend democracy. Musa warned criminals, oil thieves and pipeline vendors to desist from their nefarious activities saying that the president had increased the capacity of the military to deal with them. He said the military would leverage on technology to deal with the challenges to ensure peace and increased crude oil production. He said, the president has equally approved some funds for us to buy enablers to assist us in fighting this menace of crude oil theft, criminality, and we are going to leverage a lot of technology that will give us a leverage and we want to Appeal to those criminals, ah, you want to appeal to those criminals doing those things that we are coming after them. You are appealing to them that you are coming after them, but it is good and wise for them to stop. Okay, the military is dedicated and committed in ensuring that we restore peace. We want the crude production in Nigeria to grow so that Nigeria can enjoy the dividends of democracy. Mm hmm. Not today. Speaking on off-season election in Imu, 
Bayesa and Kogi State, the CDS said the military would not tolerate any form of intimidation, violence, and stealing of ballot boxes, saying that such era was gone with the new regime. Hey, hey. Why should even the military person be talking about election? At, they are not even supposed to be doing that in the first place. He said on the issue of election, you know three states will be having off-season elections. We are ensuring of providing adequate security. We want the elections to be credible, free and fair to enable every voter come out without being scared or being intimidated by anyone. We are warning all those that are used to doing it the old way of using violence to intimidate people, stealing ballot buses, that those days are gone. This is a new regime that we must stop. Anybody that is caught trying to intimidate anybody or cause any mayhem in any of the three states we have himself to blame. And this we assure Nigerians. You see, you know, some people we say, oh, happy, let's just keep quiet to mm, let us say, let us not say anything. And that is the reason why we are where we are today. You can imagine this man. He's saying the opposite of what has been happening. You are talking about this regime. The same Tinubu that we know that he has a religion of thousands. And this is exactly what he has been doing. And this is exactly what he did even in this uh, uh, election of 2023. Unless you just want to be lying to ourselves. <laughs> The master of the, the of it all is saying in this regime that it is be nothing or such. We are talking about oil theft as if we don't know what is happening. And so that uh, uh, if oil theft stops, then we'll have uh, more production. When it comes to oil production, the, the Nigerian people will um, get the reward of uh, the dividends of democracy. Really? <laughs> Oh my goodness, it is really, really funny. You know, we love to deceive, us, deceive ourselves. And that is the statement that this man used to make, Rufai Hussein. That we love to deceive ourselves in this country. And that is exactly what it is. See, can you, if somebody else from another country listens to this, listens to this man, this uh, CDS or so, ah, you say, oh my God, these guys, uh, there's something else. We are walking towards uh, the betterment of this country. I used to believe that. I used to listen to the government officials speak or president speak. Oh, we are doing this. We have your, we've got your back. Everything is going to be fine. Just give us some time. You will believe, believe it today. Nothing happened. So nobody's even believing anything again. Just imagine what is coming out of his mouth. <laughs> we deceive ourselves too much. Mm. Let us be watching and careful making incredulous remarks about military coup in Nigeria at this point in time. For God's sake, allow the government to settle down and breathe enemies of this country. <laughs> Not in second days, Nigeria. Not in two days. In Nigeria, military governments have become old-fashioned and regrettably retrogressive. There is no democratic elected government in Nigeria. If there is, then where is the dividends of democracy? You are not giving us a cheering news if you say we are going to leave this uh, uh, incompetence and hunger in the hand and the land with a uh, with this government that is visionless. We had hopes on you guys to throw away this unimaginable government of Tinubu. Somebody was telling me that uh, all this a uh, general and what have you. Do you think it's all this a uh, high placed uh, or the top officer, top officers in the military? That usually carry out the coup, that these guys are just deceiving, deceiving themselves. The worst part of it is that they will tell you, oh, Nigeria should not break up. Oh, if Nigeria is not going to break up, there are some things, just few things that you just, you don't even need much things. Do those things. And that, that thought will be buried. It will, be, it will perish. But it's a lie. They want to eat their cake and have it. They want to continue doing evil and expect people to continue to clap for them. Who does that? Who does that? I'm in Nigeria. So guys, let's hear your opinion and I will take on this.